Every year, on the Saturday before Father's Day, classic cars from as early as the 1920s come to downtown Naperville. The show is a throwback to times when trucks had wooden beds, hood ornaments took styling cues from newfangled jet planes, and trunks were literal trunks. And each car and owner has their own story. Ed Olson talks about buying his 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible like some people talk about rescuing their pets. The car was, had been um, odd, odd neglected the last couple years. In fact, when I bought it, it was sitting in a field, which made me sick to see it there. And in fact, that's why I think I bought it, too, just to get it out of the field. Bob Sabdo owned a 1967 Fiat 850 Spider when he was in college, but had to sell it after getting married. A two-seat rear-engined roadster wasn't the most practical ride for a young adult. But he jumped on the opportunity to buy a 1971 later in life and still drives it every chance he gets. It's insured for 12 months a year, 365 days. And if, it, if I get a nice winter day and there's not that much salt on the road, it's out with me. And the top is down. 38 degrees is the minimum. <laughs> Paul Luchok drives a 1966 Lincoln Continental convertible, one of the only four-door convertibles ever made. It's also one of the earliest examples of a powered roof, which at full speed takes 50 seconds to go up or down. I bought the car in 1993, so I've owned it for 25 years. Um, and I bought it from the original owner. He lived, on, uh, he lived out on the far tip of Long Island, out in the Hamptons. The car show let onlookers see both old nameplates like Studebaker, Plymouth, and Oldsmobile, and the beginnings of badges still on the road today. For Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin.